G'day, we're Haley and Brad, and we've just driven five days from Darwin to Queensland to pick up our new caravan. We're about to go and hook up to it for the very first time, but first we'll take you back to Darwin and show you how we ended up here. <laughs> Here it is, it's right in front of me. How good is it <laughs> Patsy, three and a half thousand kilometers. I think this is probably the worst kept secret that we'll get in a zone, but. Here it is. Guys, a 19 foot zone peregrine. Oh my gosh, we are so excited. We're like two kids on Christmas morning. This has just been absolutely incredible. Um, it's mind blowing to drive for five days straight and to come to this. Like, this is just like Christmas morning for us. I know, it's so good. Let's go for a look inside. Come on. Passy's domain. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> oh, it's so clean and crisp. Look at the big. Uh, we can look at the stars from the bed. <laughs> oh. Love it. The big rig. All right, well, here we are, two months on from what you just saw. Um, we're sitting outside our zone, Perrigan, and um, yeah, we thought we'd touch on a few of the points of why, how this all come about and why we ended up cho choosing Zone RV. So let's yeah. dive right on into it. So when we were in the Northern Territory, we got uh, a message one day from Adrian Toff, the CEO of Zone RV, and he basically just wanted to give us some encouragement, say that he enjoyed the videos and just wanted to kind of encourage us to keep doing what we're doing uh, which was really nice of him. But then mm. from there, uh, it kind of evolved more into seeing if we wanted to work with them in the future, um, if we would consider maybe getting a new caravan and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, so that all come about at the really the perfect time because we were flying back to Queensland where Zone RV is situated um, only a week from that point when we got the phone call. So it sort of all come together really good because we wanted to do our due diligence around um, the Zone RV caravan how they're built the manufacturing because obviously we're coming out of a pretty well-known Australian made caravan and uh, we wanted to make sure that the zone was just as good if not better mm -hmm. than um, what we're currently in it also came at a good timing because we had we knew that we couldn't stay in the caravan that we currently had forever mm. or even for the short term we want to have kids and we want to travel Australia with kids um, and we knew that we had to change caravan brands to be able to do that because we needed a more lightweight build. Yeah. We didn't want to move to an American truck. We didn't want to totally change our setup. We also couldn't afford to mm. do that either. We wanted to keep with a Toyota. Yeah, keep um, the Land Cruiser. It's and it was just physically not possible for us to be able to travel Australia in a Land Cruiser and a Kedron basically. Yeah, and tow around like all the tech. Like caravans have come such a long way in the eight years from when our previous caravan was built to when this one was built. And the amount of tech and stuff that they are jammed into them also means that there's a lot more weight, like the weights of all yeah. these, um, especially the traditionally framed caravans are super heavy because they've got all the batteries, all the solar panels, all the gadgets that yeah. come with the, um, yeah, the, the advancements sure. in technology. So it had already been on our mind for a while that something was going to have to change soon. And it was also ironic when Tofty first contacted us because literally the night before we'd had a serious chat about potentially wrapping up our travels soon, mm. going back home, uh, doing, going, working a lot more at home to be able to save up again so that we could travel with kids and change our setup and that sort of thing. So it all came about at a very interesting time, but we still were very hesitant to jump into it because like you said, we we're coming out of a good caravan, a well-known brand. I'd heard good things about the Zone RV, but I basically had no knowledge about anything, what they did, all how they worked, how, even how composites work. So yeah, yeah that, come, that come in handy being able to go up to the Zones factory um, when we went back for our family visit 
and just see how everything was done there and yeah. uh, boy was that impressive and really eye-opening for us yeah um before we went up to the factory also like your auntie and uncle jim and sandy yeah they had a zone so i already knew a bit about it and already kind of trusted the brand through them it mm -hmm. always helps when you have family um as soon as it all came about we gave them a call to get all their honest opinions and yeah they couldn't speak more highly enough of it so that was really reassuring for us that what we were seeing and researching was also then also being told to us by family yeah absolutely um, and then before we went up to the factory to have a look we could go over to um jim and sandy's and have a look at their caravan and you'd pretty much had your mind made up when we did that yeah hey? i had um jim let me crawl all over it and in through in it in and yeah. out of it and um you know i i thought it was really cool how yeah how they come together um how tidy they are you can tell that a lot of time and engineering and research and development has gone into this caravan so being able to see all that the chassis and stuff um and for the chassis also to be australian steel and made in-house at zone is big that combined with all the technology that they're using like all red up gear like cruise master atx suspension across the board like all those things i was like this is not just a sort of throw together job like this isn't just a you know yeah a uh, a random operation these guys know about caravans know how to build them and are building them to the top tier and are passionate about australian made using australian made products so Absolutely. that was like yeah. all big ticks for us and obviously when we went up and saw the factory we were just blown away by it mm. everything's very state of the art and a massive operation there. They've got like yeah. 250 employees. So that was, um, yeah, really eye-opening to see. Basically everything we saw at Zone and all the conversations that we had added up. And, and our um, own research. Yeah, and we come, together. To the, come to this decision that it is something that we would consider. So we sat down with um, Tofty and had a bit of a chat and we're super open about like the position that we're in and like how we needed to work because we actually were planning on working in the next few months down in yeah. south australia and because it's not like you just get a free caravan like we've actually invested in this caravan so yeah we had that chat about how we needed to work and we needed to because we don't just live like we don't earn enough off youtube to travel like that's not this lifestyle is expensive, expensive towing a caravan yeah. <laughs> around australia no matter which way you put it no matter how many tins of baked beans you eat it's going to be expensive so yeah yeah we're um, not naive to think that we don't need to work and that's when i think a light bulb went off in Tofty's head and he's like i could i think you could help us here with a few things so yeah that's so we'd set aside the months of november and december in the lead up to christmas we'd set aside to do another work stint then um like what we did last time similar teaching truck driving that sort of thing Tofty said to us well, why don't instead of doing that you come and you do some work for zone instead mm. uh and we were able to use our skills that we've kind of learnt and developed over the last year or so traveling um, and with video something. making yeah. and social media use and stuff like that yeah and put it towards that for zone um, which was really cool we've had so many cool experiences um, yeah a lot of the content that you've seen on zones YouTube channel if you are subscribed to zones YouTube channel which I recommend you do um, was made by us or either we Filmed either by us or... feature, featured in it as well so yeah um, yeah it was awesome we did trip out to st. George we did a, a trip um, up to double island point and out to Imbul with the new expedition yeah that was like cool. a, a production of the <laughs> launch of a new expedition mm. which we should also clear up there's been some confusion people are seeing us in like promos for the expo and they've seen us with different tow vehicles we still have the same 79 land series yeah. land cruiser we've just been in some different like shoots and Things campaigns like that. and that where we've been using different vehicles but yeah yeah we've still got still, still got the old silver <laughs> single cab 79 we love it yeah and um it'll take a lot to for us to get rid of that but um yeah yeah so we did a lot of really cool things with zone and um it was all part of our work stint this year so that was really cool and yeah give us an opportunity to really get in depth with the product the zone product and the inner workings of zone so that was invaluable insight i would say that two or three months ago i didn't know a whole lot about zone but right now if you ask me about zone strap in because i could probably talk about three hours about how it all works so yeah. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, really cool. But it's also cool because it, well, um, now that we've 
hit the road again we're going to scale back our work for zone but we are still going to be working remotely for them so that we can keep earning money while we're traveling rather than having to stop do a work stint, stop the videos and all that while it's happening mm. um, while we're working we can just work remotely while we travel and keep making our videos which so is really excited about that yeah because that's something that, that we haven't really done we've always always built a bank up of episodes but now we're going to be more up to date with our travels and uh, what we're filming you'll be seeing um, pretty close to real time I think so that'll be also really cool for you guys planning your own trips yeah. all right well hopefully that answered any of your questions that you might have had about the whole transitioning to a new caravan and um, you know what's been going on in our lives and if we didn't answer any questions that you might have just yeah leave them down in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you but yeah. yeah now we'll take you back to when we picked up our caravan we then had our handover experience at a place called hang o so we'll roll on those clips now just arrived at Hangar O which is about an hour north of Coolum where we picked up our caravan and we're here for our handover experience. Now this is a really cool thing that everyone who gets a zone gets to do with your purchase is include a two night stay here where you come you do a handover experience with your caravan where they spend two hours walking you through your caravan teaching you everything that you need to know and then you get to stay here for two nights off-grid camping to actually properly learn your caravan Van. So we're so excited to be here and sure. have our handover, learn our new caravan <laughs> and get to do a few nights of camping because yeah. I feel like it's been a while since we've done some off-grid camping as well. And we actually have been here before when we come up and visited the zone factory and saw if this whole thing would be like a thing that we would be interested in. We got, actually got brought up to hang around and saw what we did here and we come up on a beautiful afternoon as the sun was setting and um, you and I both said that we cannot wait to get back here. Yeah. They have a hangar here it is called hangar row because there's an airstrip here where they um, launch microlight planes and darren the owner flies his microlight plane from here and um yeah they in this hangar behind us here they also have like beers on the in the afternoon they have a bar open they also have um a cafe so they're making coffees at the moment um and their whole area there where they can get bands in and stuff and um have shindig so it's really cool here we go all right so we've just come into the to the hangar to Milo's bar slash cafe. Darren, the owner, is um, doing our handover for us this morning. Before that, he's gonna make us a delicious cappuccino. Yep, whoop. Get this patchy. <laughs> No, so this is Darren. Darren's uh, one of the owners here. Yeah, today he's going to show us through our new Peregrine. Get excited, get yeah. excited. Looking forward to them, guys. The handover experience here at Hangar is a really simple way to digest all the different systems and procedures that we'd need to get familiar with on our new Peregrine. From airbags to plumbing, 12 volt and toilets, Darren give us a really comprehensive rundown on the ins and outs of our new van. We even picked up a few tips and tricks from him that we didn't know, so it's definitely a worthwhile experience. The beauty of Hangar O is that the team here are able to help out quickly if there are any teething issues and rectify them if they are to come up. The whole handover takes between an hour to two hours depending on how familiar you are with caravans and once it's all done you can find yourself a nice campsite to park up for a few days and to put to practice what you just learned. All right, we've just had the complete handover here at Hangar O. Thanks to Daz for uh, showing us around and Thanks giving us a rundown. We actually learned a few new things, so that's that's really good. So yeah, very important to um, do this handover when you get your new zone. And uh, now we'll head over there and uh, find a cool campsite. I love 
love it. Hangaro is beautiful, eh? What a beautiful campsite. There's a turtle in there. <gasps> Stop it. We're already spotting wildlife. <laughs> Look at the windmill. This is very picturesque. And they've even got a like a lap pool, like a 25 meter lap pool and Ooh. a little plunge pool up there. We'll have to go in there Some later. Some structures about. You can get massages here. Look, there's a massage parlor right there. You can book a massage. There's a bit what going on here. What a great place to come you to could do once a, you've got your brand new caravan. Yeah, you could do as much as you want or as little as you want. It's up to yeah. you. Well, we'll get set up. Level our airbags out. We don't need any leveling shocks <gasps> anymore. Life changing. How easy is that? That's lovely. After disconnecting, I always creep forward like a few centimetres and then just check my reverse camera. Just make sure that you'll see, like if you've left a chain or a uh, even an Anderson or something like that, it's better to just double check that through the um, reverse camera than to pull away from it, potentially break a plug. There's nothing I love more than eating with a view. And this is a good view. Yeah. We're off to a ripper here at Hangar <sighs> Last time. <laughs> big day, eh? Yep, big day. A day of hanging out by the caravan. It's actually been scorching hot today, so it was a good test for the aircon. We've been running the aircon off grid for I reckon about five hours, maybe. Do you reckon? Yeah. And it's been running like a dream. I actually just can't believe that we can run the aircon now it's off awesome. grid. We're actually gonna go to the pub for dinner tonight because it's nothing worse than when you've had a big day, mm. handover, lots to take in, learning your new van, and then you yeah. don't necessarily have time either to fill your fridge with food. So it's a good um it's a good thing and a lot of people that do the zone handovers um, will go to the Feebine for dinner because um, yeah, you don't have to don't have to bug around cooking dinner. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's I'm do very it. excited. Let's go. It's been a super relaxing day after quite a hefty one yesterday. We've just been chilling out. Geez, this place is so tranquil and just relaxing, eh? It's such a good spot to just chill and like take it camp all in. and take everything in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, we're parked up on the um, on the creek here, and just up from us, just up there, there's a uh, pool. There's a 25 meter lap pool and a, and a little like 
wading pool. So we're gonna go out there this afternoon, have a cool off, enjoy the sun going down. And this afternoon, we're also gonna pay a visit to Milo's, which is the uh, local watering hole here at Hangar O. I think we're gonna go have a few bevies. How good does this look? Check it out. there you have it our new caravan we've done the handover it's actually been almost three months now since we got the caravan crazy crazy it's been an absolute whirlwind <laughs> but we wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you following along everyone who watches our videos leaves a comment likes it shares it with a friend it all means so much and it's really what has gotten us to this point today so we just wanted to say that we're super super grateful and we really really appreciate the support absolutely and we today marks the day that we are back on the road full time after three months of being stationary, working, Christmas and all that stuff. So we are super up to date right now. So you're seeing this tomorrow. So that's how up to date <laughs> we are. Um, yeah, hope everyone had a great Christmas. We've just left our family after a great Christmas period. And um, yeah, happy new year to everyone. And we'll see you on our way to Western Australia and we'll show you some of the features um, of this bad girl as we make our way over to WA. Cannot wait. See you in the next episode. Thanks for Thanks, watching. Thanks guys. Bye. Anyone who can guess this campsite gets a free calendar. Hey guys, this is your last chance to get one of our 2024 calendars. We have a handful left and we will ship it out as soon as possible so you have it ready to start the new year. $24.99 and that includes free postage anywhere in Australia. Um, grab yours now. Lots of cool photos from our travels last year so you can be reminded of all these beautiful spots all throughout the year. Cheers!